I've used a handful of routers in the past. Most of them are low-end devices that either have issues with range, disconnect randomly or brick themselves after firmware update. And I tried to change some settings based on articles I found on the internet, but the issues didn't go away. This year, I've been home a lot and noticed constant issues with my Linksys router. There's a period I had to switch to 4G network all the time because my phone just wouldn't connect to the Wi-Fi at all. I got fed up. I've been eyeing for the Eero Mesh Wi-Fi for a while. On Prime Day, it was on sale for 257 Australian dollars on Amazon. I immediately pulled the trigger. It's been a little over a month now. Do I regret it? This is Tech Regrets. Let's get into it. Eero comes in this nice box that reminds you of Apple products. Great design and minimal packaging. Inside the box, there are three Eros, three USB-C power plugs, and an Ethernet cable. On each device, there are two Ethernet ports and a USB-C port at the back. The USB-C port is for power, and you can use either Ethernet port to connect your main Eero to the internet and the other one to connect to a local network device such as a printer, a desktop, or game console. You can also use that to directly connect to another Eero unit to further enhance the stability of your Eero system. Now, the good. Number one, it gives you good home Wi-Fi. I admit this seems a bit subjective, but in my experience and many reviews I've seen, Eero is very stable. There's no dropouts that I've noticed. I don't have to restart it on a regular basis. It's just very, very solid. If you spread the three units around your house, you'll get very good coverage anywhere in your home, provided that your home is less than 460 square meters. Each unit covers up to 140 square meters. You may want to get additional units for better coverage, but not too many that your devices are constantly switching between the euros. In my case, I placed two Eros one room apart and I'm pretty much getting max speed anywhere in my apartment. Number two, it has a great app and the ecosystem is well supported. To start off, the setup process is extremely easy. Once you downloaded the app, just follow the instructions. It should take less than five minutes to set up the whole thing. You can send this to your non-tax savvy parents or friends and they should be able to set it up with no issues at all. On day-to-day -day use, the app is very neat and provides just enough functionality for the average user to monitor and make some adjustment when needed. They update the app regularly to fix bugs and add new functionalities. Lately, they introduced better usage stats that gives you your usage breakdown by device, by profile, as well as live usage stats. The other nice thing is the guest Wi-Fi setup. It's very simple to set up guest Wi-Fi with separate Wi-Fi name and password. It even gives you a QR code that you can print out for your guests to scan and join easily when they come visit. On my old Linksys router, the guest Wi-Fi would require guests to get onto a web page to log in, which feels like those free dodgy airport Wi-Fi's. Number three, it's a tiny, non-intrusive, stylish device, unlike some other more futuristic looking routers. It simply gives you more choice for where you put them. You can hide them away if you want, or you can put it next to your TV, on a shelf, or anywhere you wish. It won't look weird to most styles of furniture. Now, the bad. Number one, while it gives you good Wi-Fi, the Gen 3 model is not the top-end model Euro offers, so it doesn't give you pro-level performance that some people are after. According to the official specs, Eero Gen 3 speed tops out at 550 megabits per second as a single unit and 350 megabits per second for a three unit setup. So if you have gigabit internet, consider Eero Pro 6. Unfortunately, it's not available in Australia yet or some other mesh Wi-Fi system like the Netgear Orbi. Number 2 no PPPoE support. Your internet service provider has different infrastructure. Older infrastructure uses PPPoE where they would give you some login details to put into your router for you to get connected. In Australia, there seems to be quite many ISPs that still uses PPPoE, including Optus, TPG, and Exitel on the MBN network. 
Telstra, Vodafone, and Aussie Broadband use IPOE. So the bottom line is that Eero does support MBN in Australia, but if your internet service provider uses PPPoE, then your setup process on Eero won't be very straightforward. The setup will require a router that works with PPPoE, perhaps one that is provided by your ISP, and you need to put the Eero in bridge mode. Many users on Reddit reported that this kind of setup worked fine for them, but you can see how this is a bit annoying. Number 3. The app Overall, the app is really good, but there are a couple things I want to mention here. Eero has a paid subscription service called Eero Secure and Eero Secure Plus. This gives you some advanced features like advanced security, content filtering, app blocking, etc. While they are reasonably priced, it's a bit annoying that these cool features are behind a paywall. And the worst part is, Eero Secure and Secure Plus is only available in the United States and Canada at the moment. Also, advanced users may not like the lack of customization options available in the app. For example, you can't have separate names for your 2.4GHz and 5GHz Wi-Fi. However, IoT devices such as your smart bulbs and vacuum cleaners are notorious in their support for 5GHz Wi-Fi. Recently, they introduced a feature in the app where you can disable the 5GHz for 15 minutes within the app, but it's hidden in the troubleshooting menu. Now let's talk about pricing. The full price in Australia is 429 Australian dollars for the three pack and 199 for the one pack. So it is a bit expensive. I would definitely only get it on sale. So I don't regret buying it and would recommend to anyone who wants hassle-free setup, a stable Wi-Fi, but have little interest doing crazy configuration on their router. But don't pay full price, only get it on discount. Regrettability score? 2 out of 10. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.